Yo, it's the end of the week, I'm here to wrap it up right Talking about game and sports, and maybe life I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show Guess the parents is iron, I don't really know I'm the Paris, I'm here to do it my way Click, clap, bang on any troll, so don't press play A new series, I'm wrapping up the week So comment on the subjects being given, or don't speak Ah, weekly wrap up Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, The Past 57 and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Got a lot of gaming news, got a lot of sporting news, so we're going to get right into it. This is um, NCAA Ultimate Team. I told you guys that that was my last pack opening this week, so during the wrap-ups, you guys will be getting some Ultimate Team. Y'all going to be getting some crew gameplay. Um, also, like when the next gen drop, y'all probably gonna be getting some indie games. I haven't decided yet, but y'all gonna be getting more gameplay. So sit back, relax, put your seat and recline, and um, enjoy the weekly wrap up. So for starters, I want to talk about Des Bryant. Des Bryant was taking a lot of slack for being very animated on the sideline and the loss to the Lions. Um, to me, I think people made a big deal out of it. You know, more than what it what it was because that happens. On NFL sidelines and in NBA locker rooms, baseball, dugouts. That happens in, in organized sports all the time. And I just think they made a big deal out of it. And then um, on that note, Terrell Owens came out and said that Des Bryant was taking a lot of slack because he was black. He was saying that, that that's the only reason that people was getting at Des Bryant because he was African American. And, and as a black man, you don't want to always play that race card, but... When you see Tom Brady black out, black out, um, because he blacked out on a wide receiver, I think it was last year, as well as one of his coaches. I think he blacked out on a coach. I think Tom Brady blacked out twice. He blacked out on a wide receiver. I think his name was Taiwan Underwood. And then he blacked out on, I think it was his offensive coordinator at the time. It was the dude that coached um, Penn State right now. He blacked out on that dude. And Tom Brady didn't take any slack from that. They was just like, oh, this, this is typical on NFL sidelines but Des Bryant do it and of course he's the angry black man he got a bad attitude and a bunch of you know what I'm saying so I don't want to always play the race card but when you see and hear things like that sometimes you gotta think it is pertaining to race um in gaming news um Xbox showed off their, their new dashboard look for the uh for the Xbox one as well as PlayStation 4 did the same now to me Xbox always, always had the look of their dashboard was always better looking to me than PlayStation. PlayStation re the dashboard. It looks better. looks way better than a PlayStation 3. But to me, I'm not a fan of either, either, either one more than the other one. I'm getting both consoles. I always have both. You know what I mean? To me, it depends on what games you like to play. If you're a COD player, of course, you probably want the Xbox One because... Um, Xbox always get the Xbox always get the the maps and everything first. But if you're like a role playing, look at that interception right there. But if you're a um a role playing game and you like games like Uncharted, The Last of Us, God of War, then you might be a PlayStation fan. To me, I like both. I'm I'm both. I play COD. I play sport games. I play role playing games. That's why I'm getting both consoles. So each one have their pro and cons. I don't like one more than the other. So with that being said, save your fanboy comments to <laughs> to the left. Um, Tiger Woods will no longer be on the cover of the EA Golf game. They got rid of him. Um, also, a lot of people was making a lot of uh, a lot of um, news about Call of Duty not looking as good as it looked on the PlayStation 4. They were saying that uh, Call of Duty for the Xbox is in 720, not 1080p. So we have to wait and see. When the game come out for the next generation. And just see, you know, let's see if we could tell with our naked eye. Most people probably can't even tell with their naked eye. Um, NBA Live gave a lot of details about their ultimate team. You know, they're going to do typical EA ultimate team stuff. It's going to be collections. It's going to be challenges. I think, you know, that's always that's always a plus when you put a, a bunch of things in one game mode. That, just, that could just keep you occupied there for hours. That's always a plus. Um, in shocking news, the NBA season d- did start, and uh, Jeremy Lin was not named the starter for the Rockets. The Rockets, excuse me. They named Patrick Beverly the starter for the Rockets, and a lot of people were shocked because they're like, "Yo, Jeremy Lin is making 
buku money. Like he is getting paid to come off the bench. Jeremy Lin said he knew it was gonna happen. He knew it, and I'm like, damn, like. What you mean you knew it was going to happen? Nigga, fight for your job. Fight for your position. But, you know what I mean? Sometimes when people get that big payday, they be like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to, you know what I mean? When my number call, I'm just going to play and collect my check. Um, Russ, what? Ah, Russell Westbrook was cleared to play. Excuse me. Russell Westbrook was cleared to play for tonight's game. The Thunder have a, a game tonight, which is Sunday. And uh, he, he was cleared to play. So we have to see how Russell Westbrook um, is able to come back after his knee injury. Um, EA lost $40 million in the NCAA lawsuit settlement. To me, $40 million is, well, that's a lot of money for me. But for EA, $40 million is nothing. I mean, they make hundreds on, upon hundreds of, hundreds of millions of dollars in FIFA alone. So imagine how much they make with all their titles compared you know all together like it so 40 million dollars huh something like it. i don't think i i don't think that ea should have just let the ncaa the college football game just die because they was getting sued they should have did the right thing look at that interception right there they should have just did the right thing maybe paid some of the players and and kept the college game alive man for real um what else can we talk about um, PS4 doesn't support external hard drive, so I don't think 500 gigabytes was en was enough. I think they should support external hard drives because, especially if everything is going digital, how they really want it to go, which they want you to download the games, then 500 gigabytes is not enough space, especially when they saying that games like Call of Duty and um, they said Call of Duty is like 50 gigabytes. You have to download 50 gigabytes on your playstation 4 or xbox they saying that games like destiny will probably be like games like destiny will probably be like 79 gigabytes that is crazy that's crazy um ubisoft killed the uplay passport you will no longer need need, need that to play their games thank god because that sucked Di digital gifting could be allowed on the xbox one so say i want to gift my friend a game i could do that kind of like how itunes do it so that's also um good um target oh yeah target is doing a buy two get one free on ps4 games on friday when the ps4 come out so that's good if you want to um get pick up some ps4 games you go to target the day the ps4 come out if you buy two games you get one free hey you can't beat free um, Bogan and DeAndre Jordan was actually getting into uh, a little pushing, <laughs> a little pushing, um, let me, a little pushing, I don't even, I don't want to say an altercation, I guess that's what you could call it, but they got into a little pushing altercation, and I, I don't think DeAndre Jordan wanted none of Andrew Bogan, Bogan seemed like he was ready, you know, Bogan is from Australia, Australia down under, mate, you know, like he looked like he was ready. Um, Mark Jackson also got into it with Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin stepped on his foot or something. And Mark Jackson told him, like, yo, bruh, yo, B, I'm from New York, B. We don't play that, B. Like, when you step on my shoes, you got to say, say my bad, B. Like, so Mark Jackson had to let him know, man. Um, also, last but not least, Nintendo president said that they failed to make the Wii U a worthy successor to the Wii. Now, the Wii... The regular Wii was moving mad units. The Wii U, not so much. They kind of picked up as of late. But we got to see how it play out. You know what I mean? Um, see if the Wii U can pick up numbers. But this your boy Authentic973. It's your boy Prize 57 Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang.